Good afternoon and welcome. Pleased to uh, welcome you to the Heritage Hall here at Volvo Construction Equipment in Shippensburg, Pennsylvania. Today we're going to talk about compaction, asphalt compaction. I've got one of the world's experts with me, Dr. Ferris Biney. Please introduce yourself and tell the people all about where you've been and what have you been doing. Well, uh, good afternoon, Ian. Uh, I'm now with the Emerging Technologies Organization at Volvo CE, and uh, I have 10 years experience with intelligent systems and robotics. Uh, I've been also working with compaction and intelligent compaction for the past uh, seven to eight years. Uh, and we, here we are today uh, talking about it. Thank you. So, Doctor, can you, can you please explain what is on the market today with regards to intelligent compaction? Well, uh, today what we have on the market, we have basically uh, two types of systems. Uh, one system, one IC system would provide the, IC what we call CM, yeah, IC as intelligent compaction, uh, would provide the, what we call CMV value, which is the compaction measurement value. Uh, and that value is unitless. It has no unit. You cannot compare it to any physical measurement in the field. Uh, and we also have other variant of stiffness, intelligent compaction systems, and these systems provide a stiffness value, uh, but these, these values are not standard. Like uh, each system have, has its own stiffness uh, okay. value, basically. Let's talk about stiffness then. There's, there's, there's two types, as I understand it, there's two yeah. types of variants here. You're talking about stiffness. Mm -hmm. Explain what stiffness is, and then if you would, explain what density is. Mm -hmm. So stiffness basically is the measure of the resistance of the asphalt material to deformation. So a stiffness value would provide you a, a measurement of the uh, resistance of the asphalt into change or deformation. Uh, however, that value is dependent on the temperature, temperature of the asphalt, the thickness of the asphalt mat, mm -hmm. and the loading frequency of the roller, vibrator loader, or, or maybe the, the vehicle later on when you're driving on it. What about the material? Uh, yeah, also the material, of course, the material would, uh, would affect stiffness. But, so le but for, let's say, on one road, your material will not change. Like you have your pavement the same okay. everywhere. So mostly you would worry about the temperature, the loading frequency, and the thickness of the, of the road. So if I get that, if I understand that completely, you're talking about the mat, and the stiffness, and you're testing mm -hmm. literally the pressure of the top of the mat. Correct, yes. Okay. We've talked about stiffness. Now, the, the holy grail of compaction is finding the density. Now, at the World of Asphalt in Baltimore in March 2015, Volvo are going to introduce something that we all believe is going to revolutionize the way that compaction and more importantly, density is actually calculated. Can you tell me about, a little bit about that? Please? Well said, uh, Ian, actually. The holy grail of compaction is density because everybody in the compaction world is basically familiar with the density. So if you ask an operator on the roller how good the, the compaction is, he would put it in density, saying I'm getting 95% density, I'm getting like 94. So everybody in this industry understand density. And stiffness is kind of a, a foreign language to, to the compaction people. Uh, density is basically the measure of the air void contents in the asphalt material. So it will tell you how much air void you have in your asphalt pavement. Uh, and density is also a measure of quality. But the good thing about density is that it doesn't really depend on temperature, loading frequency, or the thickness of the mat, or anything like that. So if you measure density today on your pavement and you come back the next day with a different ambient temperature, mm -hmm. different mm -hmm. temperature of, of your uh, asphalt, uh, the density value would be the same. So okay. the density will not change over time. It will not change uh, with temperature or, or um, any other uh, parameters. So if, if, if I get this correct, if I'm understanding what you're saying, we're talking about stiffness which is testing the force that goes down onto the mat, mm -hmm. and density, when we test the density, we're testing the inside or the air void actually inside the mat. Correct. So density is actually the air void inside the asphalt pavement. How much air void you have, how much, how much void you have in the uh, so the more void you have, the weaker your 
uh, asphalt pavement is, you know, okay. and more moisture can get into your pavement and uh, more cracking, more, more problems down the road. Well, you said something interesting there. You said if you ask an operator, they'll tell you mm -hmm. it's 95%. Uh, if nobody's been able to, to quantify that, how does an operator know? Well, usually what they do now, they rely on what we call the uh, in-place gauges. So they take a nuclear density gauge, they put on the asphalt pavement, and right. they measure density in only one location. So, so one place on the one mat. One place on the mat. And okay. another way to do it also, you can cut a sample core, take it to the lab, and measure the actual density. That's the most accurate way to do it, but you're damaging the road because you're cutting a lot of cores. You know. And of course, just cutting a core, it could be any one particular place on the mat. Yes, yes. You so don't have a full coverage. Yeah, you're having samples. Right. Either you're cutting a core, or if you're doing the gauge. Okay. In these two uh, methods, you're basically getting samples. You're not getting the full coverage of the quality of your road or pavement. Doc, doctor, this sounds fascinating. But uh, what components actually go into the Volvo equipment to make Volvo Direct Density so accurate or so so uh, revolutionary? So the Volvo Density Direct will include a touch screen display, a 10 inch display. 10 inch, that's yes. bigger than anything on the yes, market. Yes, that's the biggest on the market. Right. It will also include an accelerometer sensor that will measure the vibration of the drum. Right. And an infrared temperature sensor to measure the surface temperature of the asphalt mat. And a GPS receiver to know the exact location of the roller at all time and a GPS base station to increase the accuracy to make it more accurate uh, getting the location of course and a uh, GPS rover to collect the location of the core uh, samples for calibration. So, so there's nothing revolutionary there with GPS stations and base stations but the, the, the revolutionary thing is what we do and how we collate it on the uh, on the screen. Well, yeah, I agree. So, so what do we actually get on the screen? What are the things that the the operator can see on the screen? So, as you said, the components are not really anything new to the market, but the algorithm that goes behind the scene is what's revolutionary. So, doctor, I think I've got this. We've got the big definition here between stiffness and and density direct, and this is revolutionary. But for me, as a contractor. What does it mean? What does it mean as an operator? And really, what does it mean as a contractor? Well, uh, density is a very important value, as I said. It's very practical. Everybody understands it, but that's not, not the only advantage here. The, the most advantage is that all the uh, incentive-based paying methods that the governments use are based on density, not stiffness. So uh, density direct is not going to be a quality assurance method, but it's going to be a quality control method for the contractor. So he can know what density he's getting in real time, so he can get the target density that the agency is asking for. Is it a DOT or federal government agency or whatever agency? So usually they have the uh, specifications in density, not in stiffness. Right. So if you've got the consistency with density, mm -hmm. that gives you a consistent smoothness. Mm -hmm. And I know that as a contractor, people get paid on, uh, yep. on the rideability and the smoothness of the mat. Yes. So basically it provides the customer or the contractor a way to ensure that he's going to get paid. He's not going to be penalized. Excellent. So. That's important. Yep. Dr. Dr. Biney, thank you so much for being with us this afternoon. Great information, more to come, I know. But for you, the contractor and the customer, come see Dr. Biney. He's going to be at the World of Asphalt in Baltimore, March 17 through 19, and we can really get in depth there. Or you can visit volvoce.com slash density direct for more information. Stay tuned because we're going to be back with more information later.